And that former high school, actually, if I'm not mistaken, still current high school IT guy, Dominic Reyes, damn near did the impossible. He damn near beat the GOAT. Damn near beat John Jones. And according to some, he actually did beat John Jones. I mean, really, it was amazing. Reyes comes out, and he dominates that fight from the start. For the first two rounds, he was landing kicks, strong left hands, scoring at will, doing damage. Over the course of the fight, in fact, Reyes landed 116 significant strikes to 104 for John Jones. That is the most ever from a John Jones opponent. That's history. And for a stretch, it looked like we might see actual history, real history, the kind of history that you buy a fight like this for. It looked like somebody was actually going to beat John Jones and finally beat him in the cage. Because for a stretch, the former IT guy had the goat on a bike backpedaling and trying to avoid getting tagged. Reyes had a perfect plan, and he was executing it perfectly. He was pushing the pace. He was the aggressor. He was cutting down the distance between he and Jones, generally making life miserable for Jones. It was clear Reyes was not some pumped-up can. He wasn't some pumped-up tomato can. This guy was legit, and he was doing legitimate damage. This title shot was not too much too soon, come to find out. The stage was not too big. He said he could win the fight, and he was well on his way to doing just that. It looked like Reyes was picking up right where Tiago Santos had left off. Come to find out, John Jones apparently was not unbeatable. Maybe he was slowing down. Maybe somebody was finally going to track him down and beat Jones. But then it started to change because that was the first time Reyes had fought beyond the third round. Well, Jones is used to going five rounds, and it showed. Like, say what you want about the first two rounds, but then the champ woke up. The champ was in the building for the last two rounds, the championship rounds, and he dominated those rounds. When Jones was on the verge of having his strap ripped from him, he showed up huge. In other words, he looked like John Jones before it was too late. Next thing you know, the guy's landing just about everything he's throwing in the fifth round. 26 of 34 significant strikes that he attempted in the fifth landed. That is a massive percentage when it mattered most. So then it went to the scorecards. Got ourselves a unanimous decision for Jones. And we got ourselves a controversy. Full-blown controversy. And not just in that arena, but in the White household, because Dana White, who said that he scored the fight for Reyes, said afterwards plenty of people were blowing him up about the decision, starting with his own family. Dana White's son is telling his old man the fix is in. You know it. You know it, Dad. Come on, Pops. You know he won that fight. The fix is in. (laughs) It's so good. Let me clear this up. The fix was not in. That was not fixed. The fight was not fixed. Now, the fix was not in, but the incompetence may have been in. The fix was not, but the judging incompetence may have been. In fact, it pretty much was. I'm not saying that's why Reyes lost that fight. But the judges did get weird with the scoring, and not just in that fight. Like, really, really weird. Like Judge Joe Solis going with that 49-46 score. Let me preface this by saying... Judging is a hard gig. There are a lot of ways that you can judge that fight. Any fight, but that fight especially. Now you can say that Jones won, and I'm not going to fight you on that. You could say Reyes won. I wouldn't fight you on that either. It was that close. You can say Reyes won the first two rounds and Jones took the last three. Or you could flip that on its head. What you sure as hell can't say, though, is that Jones won four rounds. You cannot say that. He didn't. I have no idea where the hell that's coming from. And neither does Reyes. Like, he may or may not be right. I mean, he's right about a lot of that. He may or may not be right when he says he won the fight. But, by the way, he may have. 
And he did make Jones look like just a man in the first two rounds. And he was this close to the ultimate upset, the ultimate win that would have made Reyes a household name. And he came up just short. To me, it all comes down to this, the third round. How did you see that third round going? If you had it for Reyes, he did win the fight. If you had it for Jones, he won the fight. And because it was that close, just about everybody's going to have an argument, a legitimate argument. To me, it's kind of a coin flip. It could go either way. It really comes down to that third round. Dana White, for instance, he gave it to Reyes. He's right. Dana's right. Now, the judges there need to do a better job. But Dana said the same. Look, if you're pissed because Reyes lost, I get that. Man, this guy fought, fought his guts out. He had a great strategy. He executed it for the first half of the fight. And then either he took his foot off the gas or he just ran out of gas. Either way, Reyes did not finish. Not the way he needed to. Not like Jones did. If he had done that, he'd be holding that belt right now. If he had handled the last two rounds the way he handled the first two rounds, he'd be the champion. But he didn't. That doesn't mean you don't have a right to be pissed if you're Reyes or you're a Reyes fan. And if you're a Jones fan, first of all, how badly were you sweating in the first two rounds? Everybody was freaking out in real time like he's going down. He got dominated in the first two rounds. You can't tell me you weren't thinking that this is how it ends. Finally, Jones really was slipping and he was finally going to lose in the cage because he was. Except credit the guy. He did what a goat does. He tapped into a reservoir that most don't have. He found that other gear when most others gas out. He did what he had to do. He dominated the championship rounds. He pulled it out. I want to make a really important point, too, before I go to break. Do not come in here with that, to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. Logic. When it comes to the judges' decisions, yes, if Reyes continued to dominate the last three rounds the way he did in the first two, he'd be the champion right now. If he knocked out Jones, he'd be the champion right now. But the way judging is supposed to work, you leave the belt On the side of the cage, when the fight starts, the judges are supposed to view both fighters as equals. You consider the action in front of you in that round, not what the fighters have done in the past. Jones does not come into the cage with some sort of extra point that gets applied to his score at the end of a round or at the end of the fight because of who he is or what he's done. If that's how the judges approached it, they were wrong and they shouldn't be allowed to judge again. Reyes fought an amazing fight. The former IT guy damn near beat the UFC champ. And if you told me right now that they're going to run it back again, I'd be all for it. Especially when you consider the other options for Jones at 205 right now. A rematch is very attractive and deserved. Reyes did not earn the belt on Saturday night, but he earned a rematch. Dana White made the point. They both need to heal up. It can't happen right away if it does happen. I get that. But I would run that one back as soon as they're physically ready. Because if ever there was a fight screaming for an immediate rematch, that's the one. 